Welcome back viewers. We really appreciate you being here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything exciting. Today we're going to show you how to move your big toolbox by yourself without any help when none of your friends show up. This video is going to be about moving your big toolbox because if you've worked in the same place for like 20 years and you haven't moved any of your toolboxes in like 20 years, you start out with stuff like this, which is pretty easy to move. Then you end up getting a, a couple of these big monsters here and all kinds of other equipment. And uh, moving the lathe is in another video that I did. I'll Put a link in the description so you can find that in case you got a lathe move and this kind of stuff you just take apart if you want me to make a video on how to take these apart and move them so that you can move it alone too without any help then let me know in the in the uh, comments and I'll make a video on moving equipment like this so luckily we've got the big van we can use for moving if you don't you can go to some place like U-Haul or something and, and get a truck or a van. These ramps really help. I'll put a uh, affiliate link in the description because these are pretty lightweight and they fold up in the middle. And the only ones that I've found that are even better than this, these metal ones, are the aluminum ones because the aluminum ones are even lighter and they fold up. So I'll put a link in the description to both of those pairs. Now, I prefer using the van, so if you wanna rent a van from U-Haul, then go ahead, because then if it starts raining while you're moving your toolbox, your toolbox doesn't get wet. You see what I did here? This is the key to being able to do it by yourself, because there's no way. Now, I've already had hernia surgeries, and I'm in another hernia if I'd even tried to move this with all the drawers in it. And it's full of all this heavy stuff. So, how do you get these out? Well, the trick is not on the runners right there. It's on the drawers themselves. And your drawers may be a little bit different. If you run your finger along here and look and look and look, see this right here? This one on this side, the right side, or the starboard side, pulls down. The one on the other side, well, let me look at this other drawer where you can see. This is the top box. I've already moved the top box out, put the drawers back in it. I have the bottom drawer here, and you can see the port side, or the left side, you've got to push that one up. So it's the long part right here. Push it up. And this is the hook part. It keeps it from coming all the way out. It keeps the drawer from sliding all the way out. So when you push that up, then the other part of the slide can go right underneath there and you can get the drawer out. Now you're gonna have to do this with two hands. Reach over with your right hand and push down. The other side of the drawer with your left hand, push up and then pull the drawer out. So another thing you gotta look out for is you see how I've got all that room except at the very bottom, very bottom drawer. As I'm pulling out, I hit that board right there and couldn't go all the way so make sure you have enough room to pull the drawer completely out because those slides are going to come out quite a bit and get that last little bit out or else you're stuck there hanging onto a drawer that's not really hooked and you can damage your slides all right now of course once you get all the drawers out it's like moving a chest of drawers for home furniture and stuff and then you can take the empty cabinet and you can handle the empty cabinet alone by yourself well I say you can I mean you know you make that decision yourself you know, don't don't go doing something like this and then hurt yourself or have another hernia surgery like me and and then uh, say it's my fault because I said you could do it I'm just saying this is how I do it and to reduce the chance of getting injured 
but I'm burnt, bruised, and bleeding all the time from my crazy schemes, so uh, don't listen to me. Anyway, you see some of these drawers are all these big sockets and stuff. There's no way to move this thing without injuring yourself or messing up the toolbox trying to do it alone without pulling these drawers out and without knowing how to pull the drawers out. Let's go look at one of the other boxes and see if the releases are any different. All right, you can see on this one, it's pretty much the same, only on the left side, this one goes down to release. And then you can pull it the rest of the way out of the slide. And on this side, it goes up. Release. And they're plastic on both boxes. Right here, another trigger. This goes down the right side. This one goes up on the left side. Well, I hope this helps you avoid injury and avoid messing up your toolbox. If you have any funny stories or tragic stories about moving toolboxes, please put them in the comments below. We'd like to hear about it. And yeah, it helps the day go by. <laughs> Talk to you later and wish me luck. Till the next video, get off the couch and get dirty. Bonus tip, if you find one of these old boxes in your Willing to do something like used. You're looking through older boxes. I know most of these newer Craftsman boxes and stuff are Chinese made and they're really cheap now. But if you can find one of these older boxes, look down here at the bottom and if you see Waterloo, then it's actually a Waterloo box made by Waterloo in the USA. Uh, if it's an older Waterloo and you can get a much better box than you can the new ones. This one, like I said it was bought like 20 years ago when Waterloo was making these boxes and it's much higher quality, it's thicker metal and everything than the newer ones that come from China. Another way you might be able to tell is the really thick handles and brackets and the side you pull on it see the side doesn't bulge out when you pull it doesn't move at all is the thicker metal whereas the some of the newer ones are made in china this will be a little bit thinner cheesier handle that has one at all some of them just have like a recess here and if you pull on the handle you'll see the, the side bulge out when you pull on the handle Go, just one word of caution anything you want to do that you see in my videos or hear in my videos do at your own risk now you could make things worse or you could end up burnt bruised or bleeding after doing thousands possibly tens of thousands of cars and passing over 50 certification tests I still screw things up and I still get burnt bruised or bleeding heck you can even wake up in the hospital one day or not wake up at all so be careful and remember the most careful and painless way to fix your car is to pay somebody else to do it.